Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to look at how to record your Volca sample directly into your phone, which is, as far as I know, the absolute cheapest possible way to record uh, your music. And um, we're going to need this specialty little adapter cable, uh, which should have come with your student kit. And this uh, is the tip, the TRRS tip ring ring sleeve on this end, um, which is what's going to plug into your phone. And then the other two end, this is split out as a separate microphone input and headphones output. So with this little adapter, it allows you to both record into the phone while simultaneously listening to what you are recording, which is very important. So that process of listening while you're recording is called monitoring. That's just the fancy word for it, but anyway. So this is going to allow us to both record and monitor into the phone. So I also want to mention that this red box here on my desk, that is a USB audio interface. Uh, this is the normal way that most people would record. It is higher quality, but it's also significantly more expensive. The cheapest version of this type of thing that I know of is about $30 to $40, and most people spend more like $100 to $200 for their interface. So compared to the $3 of this adapter cable, it is vastly more expensive. But it is a way of getting higher quality audio uh, for recording into a computer. So there are, there are two main compromises with using this adapter cable. The, the first one, and the big one, is that we can only record mono. So there's no way to get a good stereo output through this because the microphone input on your phone is only mono. It's only capable of recording a mono signal. So in terms of the Volca sample, that means that basically we're not going to be able to use the pan knob at all. Uh, because the pan not requires stereo. Everything else will work just fine. So for this particular technique, you just effectively have to ignore the pan knob. It's a mild disappointment, but it's not it's not the end of the world. Um, the, the other thing is, I will say, the audio quality that comes through this, through your phone's microphone input, it's not the highest quality. Um, it's definitely a bit, a bit less. I think it is noticeably less uh, than what you'd get from something like a USB audio interface. But again, this is a difference of at least 10 times the price. So it's a pretty significant difference if you're on a tight budget. And in my opinion, it still sounds fine. I mean, the, the Volca sample, it only supports fairly low quality samples anyway, right? The samples are all mono. They're all 32,000 kilohertz, 16-bit. Um, like, that. all of that is a fairly low audio quality by modern standards. So, you know, having a fairly low quality recording it's not that big a deal, it kind of matches it, so that's why I think this is a, it's, they're all reasonable compromises to make for the price. Uh, certainly, as you go further in this, if you get better instruments, and uh, then you're probably going to want an audio interface for more legit recording. So for this process, we're going to need your mic splitter adapter, we're going to need your regular uh, TRS stereo audio cable, that's TRS on both ends. I'm using this red one just to make the wiring really visually obvious, but obviously the color doesn't matter. Uh, and you'll need your phone. The phone should have a physical headphone jack, um, which is going to be a, be a TRRS type. Uh, or if it doesn't have one, then you need the adapter to give it one. So in the phone, uh, I'm running Android version 10 on this one. Uh, the settings might be a little different depending on what type of phone you have or what version of the operating system you have. So one of the first things that you want to do is disable uh, Google Assistant. The reason being that as soon as we plug things into the microphone port on this, Google Assistant just kind of freaks out and it thinks that you're talking to it when you're not and stuff like that. So on my phone at least, the way to do that is you go into your settings app, go to apps, you go down to assistant, and then it's under uh, see all assistant settings, and then assistant. <laughs> They really bury this. And then where is it? Go down to Assistant Device. Oh, I went too fast. You go down to Assistant Devices, and it should have your phone there. All right. Then here's this, this big toggle switch here, Google Assistant. Just turn that off. OK, so that's disabling the whole thing. Don't worry. You can always turn it on again later. And uh, actually, Google will frequently uh, give you notifications telling you to turn it back on. So chances are you're not going to forget if you do actually use the Assistant. Um, okay, so now we're ready to actually start recording something. So, oh, the other thing you might want to do is again turn on airplane mode um, just because it's helpful and so you don't get any sort of um, notifications in the middle of this. So I'll turn on airplane mode there. 
just because you know if you get a, a ding from a text or something that's going to show up in your recording as well you don't want that so with our mic splitter cable uh, one end is going to plug into the phone All right um, on these two ends they are labeled one is, one side is for headphones the other side is for microphone so on the headphone side plug in your headphones or speaker or whatever it is you're using so for me this green cable is going to my headphones and then the other side the microphone side you're going to plug in your stereo audio cable and that's going to go to the Volca all right so we're going output from the Volca into the microphone uh, on the phone okay so now on the phone I'm going to open up uh, an app that I want to record into now again, a lot of apps will work for this. Your phone's voice memo app, something like that, will probably work. But what I've found is that with a lot of the voice memo apps, uh, they will let you record, but you can't listen as you record. So it's one or the other. Either you're recording or you're listening, but not both simultaneously. And if you're trying to play live, that's a problem. You need to be able to hear what you're doing. So what I found works very well for this is BandLab. So BandLab is a free uh, DAW. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up. Yeah, so your Google Assistant will frequently notify you, telling you to turn it back on. Uh, so, there we go. So, uh, I've got Google Assistant disabled, I've got the phone in airplane mode, and now I can go into my recording program, BandLab. Okay, it's going to give me this error because I'm in airplane mode, but it doesn't matter, we can still record. So, I'm going to hit uh, plus, and then the voice mic section. Alright, so now here is the kind of the open microphone track where I can record. So again, BandLab doesn't know the difference. It thinks that the vocal sample is, is a microphone. Now, I've also found uh, in testing this a couple times uh, that it actually does matter if you're using AC power versus batteries. If you're able to power the Volca from batteries during the recording, you will get a cleaner recording. Uh, when you're powering it off AC power, you get a little bit of a kind of a background hiss to it. Um, and that's from, it's called a ground loop issue. Uh, basically, it means that a bit of the power from this is is being recorded in your recording, which just adds a bit of hiss and noise, so it's not ideal. It's not the end of the world. If you only have the AC power and you don't have batteries, it's okay. You can still record that way. The quality is just going to be slightly lower because of it. So, uh, so I'm on batteries now. And, again, I've got uh, the red cable here is going into my the mic side of my mic splitter, the uh, headphones jack is going out to my headphones or speakers, whatever. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, oh, and also, by the way, this little green uh, headphones icon, when that's lit up, that's known as monitoring. That means that I can hear as I play. That's what you want. So if you can't hear what you're doing while you're recording, make sure that little green headphones symbol is turned on in BandLab. Okay, so I'm going to hit record on here. I'm going to hit play on here. Uh, before I even start playing, I also just want to point out, so notice uh, this is called the amplitude, uh, like how high these lines get, right? If I turn the volume on this way up, I just get this solid line, and it sounds terrible, right? So that's a lot of distortion. That's known as clipping. So you want to make sure the volume on your Volca sample is down pretty far. It's better that it be too quiet than too loud. If it's too quiet, we can always boost the volume later. Uh, if it's too loud, though, if it's doing this, you can't rescue that, you just have to record it again. So it's a good idea to do a little test recording and just play with the volume knob and get it kind of in the middle, especially if you're gonna do stuff like, you know, turn those way up so that you're boosting the signals. You wanna make sure that that's not gonna cause it to start clipping in the middle of your track. So good idea to just play with it for a bit and until you find kind of the right little happy ground there. That looks about right. Okay, so now I'll stop that stop that and I will just uh, hit the back button I'm just gonna record over what I just did so I'm gonna throw away what's already there which is fine and uh, so now let's try it oops wrong order <laughs> record first then play
Okay, so there's my recording. So obviously this last bit, I'm gonna delete that later. And uh, here's the part that I care about. So you can always go back to the beginning, hit play, you should hear back just what you played. Okay, so now we've got our recording. So right from in here, uh, if you want to, you can go to this effects section, and you can actually add a bunch of effects on top of your recording. So feel free to play around with that as much as you want. I'll keep it without effects. All right. If you hit this little arrow, this is, allows you to create multiple tracks. So if you want to have multiple, like basically if you want to play multiple different songs and layer them on top of each other, or more, multiple different parts of a song, you can do that here. I would just hit plus, all right? I would do a new voice mic track and do that same process again, right? So you can have as many layers as you want within BandLab, which is great. Um, I'm gonna stick with just, just my original one for now. And then of course, you know, you can go in here, write lyrics and notes, and then there's other settings that you can play with in there if you want to play with any of that. Um, but let's just say I'm happy with this and I'm, I wanna be done with it. So the little cloud with the up arrow, that's your save button. All right, choose your option, save or publish. I'm going to save. Give it a name, uh, jams with a lot of Z's, and whatever, add all that stuff if you want, I don't care. Additional settings, anything we care about? No, we don't care about that stuff. Okay, so there's my thing. And now if I go back to BandLab home screen, if you hit the, uh, the folder with the music icon, that's your li library of projects, all right? So here's my jams one that I just made. And that's it. Now in this one, I also want to cut out all that stuff at the end, right? There's all that other bit of the recording that I don't want. So for that, I'm gonna go into this mix editor. All right, I should be able to go in here find the part that I don't want, which is after the silence here. There we go. Okay, so I can just, it selects that one there, just hit delete. There we go, that's what I want. And save that. Okay, there we go. So here is my thing. So now let's say I want to uh, share this with somebody. I can go into publish. Ah. Well, for this, I'm gonna to have to turn off airplane mode, right? Because obviously I can't upload this to the internet if I'm not connected to the internet. So let's do that. Alrighty, and now publish. It kind of takes a while before it's ready to do that. Okay, publish. Description, jams, test, or something. Okay. I'll put all that stuff in there if you care. Publish, want to be discovered. No, I don't, because this is terrible. Okay. So now this is supposedly online. You can see it says private. So I can share with a link right there which is what I want. All right, copy private link or share to chat. All right, and now then I can put this link, uh, you know, in an email or something to send to somebody. And that's it.